Meet the Irish Wolfhound, an imposing dog breed with an intriguing history and unique traits which make these dogs so special. Along with the Harp, the Celtic Cross, and the Shamrock, when it comes to dogs, nothing is more Irish than the Irish Wolfhound. Today, we'll tell you about Irish Wolfhound Breed, 10 Facts You Should Know. Number 10. The Tallest of All Dog Breeds The first thing that is impossible to ignore in this breed is height. The Irish Wolfhound is the tallest of all the dog breeds categorized by the American Kennel Club. Just think of that! At 18 months of age, according to the standard for this breed, male Irish Wolfhounds are expected to be at least 32 inches tall at the shoulder and at least 120 pounds while females should be at least 30 inches and 105 pounds. In general, the average male is 34 to 35 inches tall and weighs 140 to 180 pounds, while females are around 32 to 34 inches tall and weigh 115 to 120 pounds. When they stand on their legs, Irish Wolfhounds can get up to 7 feet tall. Training these dogs is important unless you don't mind being dragged down the street as you desperately attempt to wrap your arm around a tree or an electric pole to prevent forward motion. Number 9. A Hunter of Wolves As this breed's name implies, the Irish Wolfhound is an Irish dog breed that was selectively bred for hunting down wolves. According to Samuel Evans Ewing III, 1967, it's due to this history as wolf hunters that almost always Irish wolfhounds exhibit a ruff around the neck that is thicker than any hair elsewhere. Nature has designed the Irish wolfhound's coat to have a rough top coat for protection from the weather, terrain, and prey, and a soft downy undercoat for warmth. Did you know Irish wolfhounds came close to extinction in the 19th century? when all the large prey animals such as wolves, deer, and wild boars for a good part almost vanished from Ireland, leading to decreased demand. Number 8. A History as War Dogs Irish wolfhounds were also used as war dogs. Indeed, these dogs were devotedly prized for their ferocity and bravery in battle. Their main task was pulling men down from horses or chariots. With the speed of a greyhound and the strength of a mastiff, it comes as no surprise how they must have excelled in this task, successfully dragging a fully armored knight from a horse's saddle. However, nowadays they look nothing like ferocious, especially when they are laying on their bed with a lazy look on their face. These dogs also make rotten watchdogs with poor territorial instincts. Number 7. A Gentle Giant Despite this breed's imposing looks and history as war dogs and hunters of wolves, the admirable Irish Wolfhound has a reputation for being a gentle giant. Yep, beneath those shaggy eyebrows and furry body hides eyes with a sweet, gentle expression and a heart of gold. A popular saying goes, gentle when stroked, fierce when provoked. Number 6. Strong Chasing Instincts Irish wolfhounds are ultimately sight hounds at heart, which means they were bred to chase animals at startling speeds. If you're interested in opening your heart and home to an Irish wolfhound, it is therefore important to keep in mind that they may be prone to chasing and potentially injuring and even killing smaller animals. Number 5. Predisposed to Health Maladies being a giant dog comes with some predispositions for medical problems. Firstly, consider that this is a breed predisposed to rapid growth. Irish wolfhound puppies are born weighing 1 pound and reach an astonishing 100 pounds at 6 months. Too rapid growth stresses the growth plates in puppies, which tend to close around 14 months. A well-formulated diet is therefore fundamental for slowing down the growth rate and certain forms of exercise, like sudden stops and turns, need to be restricted. 
Do not encourage your hound to stand on his or her hind legs. This especially applies to young puppies. Aside from behavioral problems later on, it can also cause stress on bones and muscles and possible injury. Secondly, this is a deep-chested breed, and deep-chested breeds are prone to a potentially life-threatening condition known as bloat. Other health concerns are bone cancer, osteosarcoma, which is responsible for one in five deaths, cruciate ligament tears, liver shunts, and heart problems. Number four, ready for new homes at 12 weeks. In many dog breeds, puppies are ready to go to their new homes at eight weeks of age, but the Irish Wolfhound is not one of them. According to the Irish Wolfhound Club of America, Irish Wolfhound puppies do best if they are sent to their new homes anywhere from 10 to 12 weeks of age. The reason for this is that Irish Wolfhounds tend to develop at a slower rate compared to other dog breeds. Placing them too early causes them to miss out on important life lessons such as learning how to get along with other dogs, deciphering body language, gaining bite inhibition, and learning how to deal with novelties. Failure to wait those extra weeks may lead to puppies predisposed to separation, anxiety, lack of confidence, and challenges interacting with other dogs. Number 3. Sensitive to Anesthesia Their liver is less efficient in metabolizing drugs, causing them to stick around for longer with harsher effects. This makes Irish Wolfhounds more sensitive to anesthesia, and therefore it should be administered at a lower dose compared to the average dog. It is therefore important selecting a veterinarian familiar with the breed sensitivities or consulting with a specialist as an added safety precaution, like a board-certified diplomat of the American College of Veterinary Anesthesia and Analgesia. Number 2. Rather expensive to maintain While living with a big dog with a big heart is priceless, they give us so much unconditional love. Something to consider before bringing an Irish Wolfhound into your life is cost. Being on the larger side means increased cost. For example, cost for boarding or hospitalizing large dogs will be greater. They'll also need more medications, including heartworm preventative. They'll eat more and they'll need an extra large crate, a large vehicle, and an oversized sofa. Pet insurance policies may also be on the higher end considering this breed's health issues. And even the price tag for a puppy is quite hefty. A good breeder will typically ask $2,000 to $3,000 or more per puppy. While this may seem a lot, it is not considering the amount of work and money breeders put into producing healthy dogs with a solid temperament. Breeding dogs have hips and elbow x-rayed, their eyes are screened, and cardiac testing is done. Even temperament needs to be taken into account. And when puppies arrive, it leads to sleepless nights and further expenses. Number 1. In need of proper fencing All dogs need good fences, that's a known fact. And we all know how good fences make good neighbors. But with this breed, it cannot be emphasized enough how a proper fence is crucial. Breeders may inquire about fencing when interviewing candidates for purchasing their puppies. And being that this is not a very common breed, good breeders have often long waiting lists of potential puppy owners they will have carefully screened. The ideal Irish Wolfhound owner must have sufficient space for his dog to romp around and must have a secure, sturdy, above-ground fence. This is a breed selectively bred for galloping. The legs are long for covering ground quickly and the chest is deep to accommodate the heart and lungs. With an ingrained tendency to hunt by sight and being blessed with an athletic body, it's therefore not surprising if the Irish Wolfhound is prone to escaping flimsy fences. And don't assume the shock from an electric in-ground fence, which I never recommend, will stop this breed. The strong instinct to chase will override the temporary pain. Do let us know in the comments if you also love these fierce dogs. Please subscribe to The Amazing Dogs. Thanks for watching.